Should we uh, wait for five minutes or just start now? Professor Lu. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, hi, uh, Professor Li. Uh, does Professor Huang Shujian already in here? Uh, no, never mind. Uh, I... Uh... We can start? Yes, yes, I think. Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. Uh, okay, let me briefly introduce the, the talk of in <clears throat> as a speaker of today's talk. Uh, we have Professor Li Zhenghua from Sochou University to tell us the the paper of uh, calling best paper, long paper. And uh, he will tell us the details of his paper and also the stories behind the paper. I see the first authors also coming here. Uh, if you are very interested in this, we can discuss uh, after the speaker's talk. Okay, I will give the floor to the Professor Li. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Nijia. Let me share my screen. Okay, can you see? Yeah. How to move this? Okay, great. Uh, I'm very, very glad to be here. And I feel very greatly honored that uh, to be invited uh, to give this talk. And uh, this is the uh, first time that I've been invited to give an English talk in my career. And I see this talk as a start. And uh, okay, uh, especially I want to thank uh, uh, Professor Lu Wei from uh, SUTD and uh, Yan Xia. Uh, uh, now she is a postdoc at NUS on the supervision of uh, Min Yan Khan. And also want to thank uh, Shu Jian. Uh, he maybe he's not here now. Uh, for in the order of the invitation. Okay. And uh, today I am going to uh, try my best to uh, tell the stories behind this talk, besides giving the uh, details of the techn technique. And uh, the title of this paper is Fast and Accurate End to End Span Based Systematic Relabeling as Word Based Graph Passing. Uh, there's uh, a few keywords. End to end means we try to uh, build the results, to get the results in one step. Uh, and the uh, span based SR, I will introduce this. Uh, there's two kinds of SR. And word based graph means uh, we actually uh, convert an existing task. Uh, into another another one, another task, and make, make connection. I think this is a very popular way to do research. And this work is, uh, is jointly done by my students, Shi Lin, Zhou, Qin Rongxia, myself, uh, Zhang Yu, Pro Professor Hong Yu, and Professor Ming Zhang. And uh, I also give you a uh, uh, picture. Here is me. This is the first author, Shi Lin, and this is the second author, uh, Qin Rong, Qin Rong Xia. Uh, he is now, he now 
uh, in uh, Huawei Cloud after he uh, obtained uh, his uh, PhD degree last year. Mm, and uh, this uh, uh, Zhang Yu and uh, Professor Hong Yu and Professor Zhang Ming. Uh, this is a, a picture that took uh, when Zhang Yu has obtained his master degree. I think it's about it's 2020, I think. Right, Shuni? Uh, and the, it's not my whole group. Uh, there's a few people, a few, a few students missing because of the pandemic. Uh, okay, uh, I will, I, I won't hide anything about this work. So I, I, I would like to first introduce the rejection experience. This paper has been submitted three times and, uh, and we get uh, two times of rejection. The first, uh, we uh, submit the work. Actually, the work is uh, uh, very, is, is completed uh, very soon, maybe one month or two months. And uh, we, we submitted it to AAAI and we got, uh, got some comments. We are not very satisfied. And uh, soon we resubmit it to ARR. And uh, after we obtained the ARR comments, we committed to NACO. We also got uh, rejected. And after that, uh, because the, the time between AAA submission and ARR submission is very tight. So as the, the two version is quite uh, the, nearly the same. Uh, we improve our writing, we emphasize our contributions and uh, try to uh, try to solve the confusion points of the reviewers. And, uh, but in the third submission, we actually make substantial improvement. I will introduce the, 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 the details later. Okay, there are two formalisms for semantic rule labeling. One is called spam-based assay. Actually, this is a traditional uh, uh, formalism for SR. You can see in this sentence, there are two predicts, uh, want and do. For each predict, we try to capture its argument. Uh, A zero means argument zero, and uh, uh, A is short for argument, okay? And also we, get the arguments for do. Okay, you can, you can say uh, for an argument, it can be a word span or a single word. Okay, so it, it's called span-based SR. And uh, the other formalism of, of SR is called word-based, or usually some people call it dependency-based. I think, I don't think it's a good way to call it uh, because it's, it's not uh, directly contrary to Spam based. They are two kind of concept. I think it's misleading. So I, I, I determined to call it word based SR. It means the arguments can only be single word, not spans. And actually, this task definition is started uh, since Kono 2008. It's a shared task. Okay. And uh, in the word based SR definition, we except that besides the structure and the arguments and the labels, we also need to uh, decide this 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 ambiguity. No, no. We also uh, need to recognize the sense of the word, which means uh, uh, also known as the frame ID or the sense ID. For this one, want uh, the, the 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 sense is uh, first sense. It's also, so it's want. Uh, dot zero one. I will give you an example. I, I, know, I know many people, many students don't know this. No. It's kind of linguistic, but it's actually, I think it's more important because from the, the, the labels, arg zero and arg one, you, you will feel that semantic really, SR is very shallow, but it's not that shallow because there's frame. Let's see this. Here is the frame for want uh, with the sense with the, of the uh, under the first sense. You can say 
argument zero, this is argument zero, this is argument one, actually they have descriptions and uh, the argument zero under this sense actually ref, uh, is the meaning is wanter, okay? And it can have three, three kinds of situation. Okay, agent experience and, okay. And uh, the argument one, the meaning actually is seen wanted. Okay, and it can also have a few different uh, situations. So with the frames, the frames make the, the, the SR results more richer. Uh, we, it contains more information. So, but uh, uh, on the one hand, few people make use of this frame to be combined with SR results. When they use the results of SR to do something um, high, level, high level. On the other hand, I think maybe this is, uh, this is, maybe this is, this, maybe this could be a direction. That is, maybe when you do, uh, the, the, maybe the SR model should use the frames, the knowledge in frames to, to do a better job. Okay, so maybe we can discuss this later. Uh, but uh, let, let's, let's get back. Uh, so, the spam based assay don't need to dis, uh, distinguish the word sense. Okay. But you know, the, the, in this talk, we focus on spam based assets. And in some sense, I think SR, a spam based SR is more complex because it has to determine the boundaries. And uh, according to my experience, determining the boundary of arguments is very difficult for human annotators. So I think it's also very difficult for models. And uh, I also want to give um, a few uh, a few more words. Uh, you see, uh, this structure actually is converted from this one by select deciding a single word as the represent as the representative of the the span. But how to determine the uh, the word the center word? I also called. Actually, it uses uh, uh, the syntactic structure also known as context-free grammar structure to, to have some rules to decide it. If you are interested, you can uh, read this paper, the, the overview paper for this shared task. Okay, uh, this slide, uh, I'm just in case some people read some question. Okay, I think after the, the few slides, you, 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 you should have a, a, a clear understanding of the task itself. Okay. And for the spam based answers uh, task, there are two mainstream approaches. Uh, the first one is called BIO based. It's actually very straightforward. And uh, many uh, before deep learning error, uh, people in, do SR in this way. First, we did identify all the predicates. Uh, predicates. Okay, for this sentence, we, we, we first determine, okay, want and do are two predicates. And then for each predict, we use a sequence labeling approach to decide the, all the arguments. Okay, you can see the, this one is the begin of arc zero and uh, to do more is BII. This, 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 in this example, we use uh, the BII uh, schema. Okay, also we have, other options. Uh, this is, uh, if you are familiar with uh, changing world arms, uh, segmentation or name and entity recognition, you should be yeah, easy to understand. And for do, you also need to do the things labeling once again. So the cons is you, you, uh, you need to, the, the, all the things, in, uh, 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 including the first step, must be done sequentially. Okay, uh, of course you can, you see, well, I can uh, paralyze want and do, yes, they can, you can do that, okay. But it makes your batch larger. It's more like a pipeline, a complex pipeline. We don't, we didn't like it. It's not, it's, you cannot call BIO-based approach as end-to-end. -end. I, I know people have different understanding on end-to-end. -end. Okay. 
And the second mainstream approach is span-based graph parsing. Okay, so the, for all the words, single words, they can be predicts. They are all predict candidates. So there are n candidate predicts. And also for all the spans, it would be n squared world spans, uh, continuous world spans. And they try to, it's, it's a biparty graph, okay. So that they directly try to uh, build the connection between them. You can see the search speech is, is large, it's uh, n cubic, right? And uh, so uh, 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 in their work they propose, and after the, uh, the following researchers also use, follow their, 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 their approach, which is they use a heuristic pruning strategy to uh, prune the unlikely predicts and the unlikely arguments to, to, to make the such space smaller. Uh, if they don't do this, the, the speed will be very, very slow. So then how we start this work? How do we start to think of this? We should do this. I think the, the, the direct trigger for this work is, uh, is, a, is a short paper submission by, uh, by Dr. Xia. Uh, this paper still lies in the over, over, overly, uh, overly uh, uh, website. It's not uh, submitted after this it gets uh, rejection. And uh, I, uh, before uh, uh, Dr. Xia graduated, we have a lot of discussion. And, uh, and this, this result from the paper interests me a lot. You, can, you see uh, the passing speed uh, Qingrong, in his paper, he claims that our parser is much more efficient than previous ones. Okay, and the, the reviewers say that you only uh, speed up by two times, twice. Okay, so it's not, you cannot claim that. And it bothers me a lot because my experience with my, with, with other students, Zhang Yu, is also a course of this, this calling paper. In our ACR 2020 paper, we build a very complex self based uh, dependency passing, a parser. And the parser can pass over even with the complex tree CF loss and the, the complex uh, O n cubic com temp, uh, temp complexity decoding algorithm. Uh, we can pass 1,000 sentences per second approximately. So there's a lot, very large gap between the two tasks. And I believe the next passing should be more complex. Okay, so my hint, my, how to say, uh, my, uh, my intuition uh, or, or tells me that there's a lot of work can be, uh, can be, that can be done to improve to at least to make the speed of the SR parser be comparative, but comparable with a snack parser. So, so, so the question is, can we develop a faster SR approach with satisfactory accuracy? I, I don't expect we can improve, uh, improve, improve the performance accuracy and, and at the same time uh, with a very a much faster model. But uh, actually, uh, at the end of this talk, you will say, actually, we, we, we did improve the accuracy. So our ambition is modest at that time. We want to, uh, to do a small job, a small and focused work uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a certain degree of contribution to the community. And uh, OK, directly inspired. Uh, by works on word-based semantic graph passing. It's also called semantic graph dependency passing. I, I also think this, this term is kind of uh, misleading. Okay, so, uh, and the accurate, more accuracy way is called word-based semantic uh, graph passing. Okay, you, uh, there are 
uh, a few several formalisms for 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 SGDP. Uh, it's uh, DMPAS and uh, I think uh, it's PS. What I, I forget. And this picture is from Peng Hao. Okay. And uh, uh, Dodat and the Manning they propose a very very simple approach, which is inspired by their work on dependency passing. It's it, it, it's very famous. It's called Bifan Passer for dependency passing, and it, it actually it directly. Uh, uh, apply their parser with minor modifications to this task. Uh, and they obtain very good performance and it's very fast, very fast. And uh, Wang uh, is a professor to Kowe, the uh, student. Uh, in their ACR 2019 paper, they extend Dodot's work and to second order, they use, they use more uh, features, more complex features. And uh, they use uh, MVI, I will introduce the details later. Uh, it's a approximate way to incorporate complex features. Okay. And all the results show that their model is very efficient. Uh, okay, if anyone have questions, you can directly raise, uh, raise your hand. Now we can discuss. I want, I don't like the talk to be, to be one way. I, 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 I prefer it to be uh, more interactive. Okay, don't, 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 don't hesitate to interrupt me. Okay, so our idea is, can we do word-based graph? You can see in previous slide, all the, oh, sorry. The word-based semantic graph passing, they are word-based, okay? The node in the graph is all words, single word, and they build a connection between them. Uh, okay, so uh, directed is the ax, okay? So the, the edge are directed. If we can build, uh, we can convert span-based graph into word-based graph, then the search speech is, can be can be reduced to uh, n squared. Okay, uh, so it's it, it is equal to uh, uh, to breaking span level nodes into word level. How do we do that? Okay, if sometimes I think if we can think in the, in the right direction, we know which way to 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 think or do the the the. The ideas will jump out naturally, very naturally. Okay, so naturally we think of uh, char-based entity recognition. Here in the example, he is Zhenghua Ouyang. Uh, Ouyang Zhenghua is a person name, and uh, it's a four-character person name. Then for so in this thing here, if we uh, for Name entity NER, we usually use a single labeling approach to it. But, uh, but we uh, need to encode the NER label into character, into character label. So actually, there are six, at least six. Maybe you can make the label set more larger and make the, the, the schema more complex. Okay. Uh, the BII is very commonly used. Uh, okay. B, begin. Of a person, inside a person, inside a person, inside a person. Okay, this four character will be, uh, will will build, we will be converted to a, uh, a person entity. Also, S means I didn't uh, since this example don't have S. S means a single word is a name entity. Okay, and uh, the second uh, is B I E means we distinguish the ending character from the inside characters. Also, we can also, in this one, we don't mind, we don't uh, consider the inside words. We only pay attention to the boundary words, begin and end. So in this sense, we, we then can, uh, we can, we can build our, we, we can naturally straightforwardly 
to break the span based graph into word based. Okay, here we you uh, we follow the the popular schema in limit entity and regulation. We first uh, propose uh, we try BII. It's in this way. Okay, to do more is an uh, argument of want, and uh, we break it into three ideas. First one is two is uh, it modifies want with a label B A zero or A one. Okay, two is uh, I A one and uh, more is I A one. So the three of them, it, since they are continuous and uh, we combine them together and uh, get this. Uh, please pay attention to the ending period. You see, in this graph, uh, since the period does not is not uh, is is not predicts, and it's not uh, uh, a part of an uh, 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 argument of any predict, so it will be left alone. This is also uh, it 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 would be uh, often in the graph. Okay, and uh, this is very similar to the SGDP structures. Okay. And uh, you can see, and also since we want to do an end-to-end -end model, so we need to uh, also encode all the predicates to recognize all the predicates in the graph. So we create a pseudo word, which is very popular in, in uh, dependent parsing, syntactic parsing. We, the pseudo word root will point to all the predicates in the sentence with the label. PRD. So it actually, the, the, the label is, is uh, kind of unnecessary because if the it, if it's if the word depends or modify root, then it would be it must be a predict. Okay. And uh, then we also think of BE. Okay. Uh, this, the BE schema. Uh, and uh, the actually it it different from BI in two step, not one step. First, it removes all the I. It don't, it don't, it don't uh, pay attention to the inside word. And uh, it distinguish the end word using the, uh, using the E. Okay. It don't use I, it use E. Okay. I think it's simple. And uh, that's what we did before we submit to the, uh, the before we, 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 we submit it to AR. Okay. So in our, uh, in other words, in our AR paper uh, submission, our work is, is, the, is stopped here. Okay. Actually, uh, you can see this is a contrast of the two schemes, the schema time. And uh, this one is BII, this one is BE. And uh, you, you can see in our summation, we didn't emphasize our contribution on de designing proper scheme, right? We only, we, 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 in our people, we, act, we, we even don't uh, give the picture of this guy. We don't give the BII scheme picture. We only mention it. You can see, uh, except the BE scheme, we also try another scheme. However, our prelim preliminary experiments show that the performance is much inferior to BE, so we finally choose the BE schema as our reputation scheme. Okay. And then we also explain uh, why, why this, why is it, why this is. This, this paragraph is not in the paper for AR submission is in our calling paper. Okay. So in other words, we stopped uh, without, in, without a lot of insights. It's just a try. We don't think this, this place should have, uh, should uh, take a lot of words in our paper, a lot of space. We don't, we, we in, in that time, why, why, why is this, why, 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 why I recall, recall? Uh, because I want to 
perfection, make my uh, improve my research ability and my student. We, we all want to improve our ability in doing research. So we need to think. And we recall why, why should we stop here? Okay, I think there's, uh, uh, no, I think, I think the answer is because our past experience uh, becomes an obstacle. It actually, it's kind of, uh, in our knowledge uh, makes us, uh, we think the, we think, uh, sorry, let me see. I just give, directly give the answer. Because in named entity and world segmentation research, we know that the BIES, BII, et cetera, they don't, uh, the, their performance is very similar. So we never think there's space in, uh, in designing the proper scheme can improve the performance, performance largely. And we, after we compare these two, we think, okay, we, we actually, we, we should find the, the, the best one, okay. And this one, it's, it's not very interesting. So let, let's just focus on the modeling part. We, we read a lot of things on the model. Actually, the model is not our main, main, main contribution because the model are almost uh, mostly direct from other world. Oh, oh okay. Okay, uh, why? Why BE is better than BI? Because uh, you, you can see the final graph contains much more ideas in BI scheme than that generated by BE. Here, we only have BE, there are no BEIs. Therefore, given two words, the corresponding model tend to build an edge between them, compared with, without building an edge, resulting in a higher recall, but a lower precision. This is supported by the results. We will, we will see that in, in the experiment part. Okay, so th this is uh, the results we give in our paper, AR submission. You, you can see our more main, main focus is, we, we, don't, we, don't, we didn't give the results of comparing BII and BE. We just give, uh, use one sentence or two sentences to, to, to say that. You can see our more major focus is comparing first order and second order model, et cetera. Okay. And we can see uh, also another reason that we stop here because we think our performance is satisfactory. Comparing with previous results, our model is, is nearly the same. Okay, you can see it here, right? Very, very, very same. And we are satisfied, so we stop. And we don't expect that we can further improve performance. So thinking is very, very important in doing research and critical thinking. You dot, dot your previous result, dot your model thinking. Okay, okay then uh, we, after we, uh, our work is rejected by, uh, by, uh, by NACO. Uh, I encourage Shilin, go on, be brief, okay. And uh, let's try to improve our work. If, if the modeling part, for example, comparing the first order and the second order models is, is unnecessary because they are not our main contribution. So let's try to make this thing, this work uh, more perfect. Okay, let's make the, make it more insight, insightful. And then let's try all the schema, try more schema so that in the future, other people, if they try to do the same thing to other similar tasks, they can directly use our findings. So we, we try the third one is PIEIs, okay. Uh, this one uh, distinguish uh, the single word arguments, you can see. Uh, Z, uh, Z is a single word argument of want, so it's I single word. And also it distinguish ending word and I. 
So it's in, you can see it's um, the, the 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 schema with the most uh, number of labels. Okay. Also, uh, 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 of course, you can design more complex ones. And uh, we also we also be, uh, give a, a new uh, false schema. It's called BES. We don't uh, distinguish. We don't pay. Uh, we don't uh, build IDs for the inside words. Actually, here is also a story. I will I will give you the story later. Okay, so far we are done with schema schema term. So what what we we have tried is. Uh, we give a few schemata that we can convert the spam-based graph into word-based graph. And uh, the, the next thing is, let's suppose we have, uh, we have the word graph, word-based graph, then what's the, we, we introduce the model part. So we use a, we use a two-stage passing approach, which is uh, very uh, popular nowadays in dependency passing. Okay. First, we predict why why we use two stage. Oh, of course, we can use a one stage approach, but uh, we our experience in dependency parsing tells us that two stage is more simpler, is simpler, and uh, the performance is very similar. Maybe there's some thought. There's, there's there's some 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 room for thought in here, but we 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 we, we didn't try. Maybe our 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 uh, pre assumption is wrong. Okay. Uh, at first, we predict all the edges. Here we use a BES schema because it's the best schema, finally. Uh, as an example, we first predict all the edges. If there's, you can see the, the final period is not connected with any, there's no, no edge point or from uh, or pointing for two. Wait. And then we predict uh, in this one, uh, I, I, we use a sigmoider to convert uh, the the scores into uh, into a probability. Uh, and the if the probability is larger than zero point five, it will be the 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 edge will be built. Okay, and as IGA for now, you can think of it uh, is uh, the score between the two words, which is computed by the model, which is simple, okay. This is a sigmoid. It's, uh, and uh, given the IDs, then we, it's a multi-class classification task, and we use a softmax, and we can compute the probability distribution of all the IDs, uh, all the labels, and we choose the best one. Then the model here is nearly the same with uh, our work in uh, 2010, ACR work for dependency passing. Okay, uh, here is the score for an H, uh, two words. And here are some more complex features or higher order or two order, uh, two uh, uh, second order features. Okay. And uh, I'll give you some um, details. Uh, we try three types of second order features. So, uh, second order here, second means uh, the feature is uh, the feature is uh, based on two edges. So it's called second order. If the feature is uh, uses three edges, then it's called third, third order. Okay. Uh, simply means, uh, the two words uh, modify the same, the same, the same word, like two and more. They are siblings. Uh, this you can see this this one is very important because it can actually uh, because there are the, the multi uh, word the arguments have a pair. Okay, so this one is very important too. To, to, to get some information for them. And the second one is power co-parent, which means, uh, for example, more. Okay, it has two parents. One is want, one is do. Okay. 
In this case, the word is uh, argument, is all, uh, maybe a part of, of argument for two predicates, and also grandparent root to, uh, to argument, root to predicate then to argument. Okay, with uh, you, you can say with the second order features, and uh, you, with this, you can say we need to do something. Okay, to before we get to the sigmoid function, and we use uh, uh we we follow previous work, uh, Professor Tukowi's uh, team work, and uh, use MFVI. Uh, this is a formulation, uh, the equations. It, it seems very complex. Actually, it's very simple. The mechanism is that we let the second order features to, to influence uh, the Q. Q actually, you can, you can, uh, you, Q I J means the confidence of building an edge from I to J. Okay. And uh, you can say we use the uh, high order features to influence with with a uh, with a uh, with uh, with 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 uh, Q as a pivot to obtain a new a new value for IGM and uh, IGM. As you can see, this part is high, uh, is a part of value that is contributed by high order features. And it's, pl it's plus to uh, the first order score and they get a logit value. And then the logit value actually is used, uh, it's fed into the sigmoid. And this thing is, is iterated for three times. Okay, experience shows that three times is okay. It's, you can see it's converged or something like that. It's very sim simple, it's very efficient, can be efficiently done. Okay, so the training laws, we have uh, two parts. One, the first one is IDs, uh, second one is the labels. Okay, for the IDs, we have two parts. For the IDs in the ground truth graph, we use this one. And for the unexisting IDs, we use this one. It's quite natural, right? And we also have the label laws for the IDs in the ground truth graph. And we combine them, uh, use uh, interpollution. And the lambda is quite small. It's found by the experiments, preliminary experiments. And we use this value for all the, uh, for all the experiments and models. Okay. And uh, I don't know it's the time. When I give a talk, I usually <laughs> uh, take much more time than expected. And uh, here, there's one remaining issue, which is, uh, I think it's a minor uh, contribution of this work, uh, which is since we, the IDs, the labels are independently uh, classified, obtained, and uh, there is no interaction between them. There would be conflict in conjective, uh, in, in in two adjacent labels because we sometimes we need uh, they are they are, they are incompatible. You can see here this one. In, we use a BES schema. You can say we have a beginning of argument zero, but uh, and we expect there should be a E. Is zero, but uh, here we, we, we find a uh, s is zero. Okay, and uh, there is also another uh, conflict type, which is we have a begin of a zero, then we then and in a superseding edge, the label is e e one. They are also incompatible. So what can we do? Uh, the natural way is or engineering way is designing some rules to handle this. Actually, we have tried to design rules in our, uh, uh, in the beginning of this work. And we found a, a certain set of rules are, are, very, are better than others, but we don't think it's this, this one is extendable. 
maybe in other data set or task, the, the rules would be uh, would fail. So we want to have a more elegant way to do this. Okay, which is uh, I will see here. And so our idea is that we can for if there is some conflict uh, in the result of a predict, then we re-decoding the sequence, the other words, and we try to obtain a legal or a, a label sequence without any conflict. And this can be done by constraint the little b, right? And the, you can design some rules. Uh, not rules, you can design, uh, you, when, when you search the optimal sequence, you add some uh, some constraints, okay? And uh, you can see, our idea is that, uh, first we, for each word, it has a, a label set for it to choose. And the label set is composed by this, B, A0, A1, et cetera, E, S, I, O, okay. Here, you see, we are using the uh, PES schema as an example. And in the PES schema, there is no label like I, right? The model don't have a label I. This is, uh, but I is indispensable because without I, we won't distinguish the word is not an argument of, uh, of the predict or is inside the argument. If we can't distinguish that, our constraint vector B would be impossible. Okay. Constraint vector B did, uh, uh, is re relies on the constraint on adjacent uh, state transitions. Okay. So we need to, we must to in, uh, introduce or invent this label I into the label site. I don't know if you can follow me. Okay, and uh, here, so, so suppose we have an I label, okay, for now. And uh, how do we do contribute to be decoding, okay? We design, we design a matrix, we have a matrix, okay. For B, uh, here the star means all the uh, SR labels, such as A0, A1, etc. okay. Uh, so the, the the actually the matrix is much larger, okay. And uh, but here for sim uh, for simplification, we we only show uh, show the prefix. You can say if we the left of one the left state is B, then the next the next one only can be E or I. And for if the left one is E. Then the, the next word can only be B, I, or O. It cannot be I or E. Okay, so it's quite simple. And we can, suppose we have I, and suppose we have all the probabilities, then we can, we can get an optimal sequence, which, which means the, the probabilities the, 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 the largest and without any conflict. Okay. But how do we get the emission probability for B, I, uh, for, for all the labels, including I? How can we do that? The a natural way is that we recompute, we, we build a model, or maybe we can sharing the, we reuse the encoder, but we, 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 we introduce more MRPs and to compute all of them. Okay. Because we need to, we need the probability to sum to one. Okay, they, they need to be uh, to be mathematically uh, justified. Okay, but it would be it would make the model uh, make the model slower. We don't want that, and there's no and it's unnecessary to do that. We can reuse the probabilities. Okay, here is we, what we do. Uh, first, uh, bring the, bring the, keep in mind that we try to make the, the probability distribution to be justified, okay? 
And uh, so the, the sum of bridge should be, should be one, okay. So you can say for an edge, the edge can be uh, Q, IG means the edge exists, the probability of the edge is, 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 is exist. And one minus Q means the edge doesn't exist. Okay, let's find this one. And uh, for this, for we, we can use the probability from the labeling part of the model because the, the sum of all the uh, probability of the labels would be one, okay? There's no room for, for this guy, these two guys. So we plus, uh, we multiply these two quantities and to get the label properties. And uh, for O, and O, the, the, there's, uh, O means uh, there's no edge between the two words. And uh, it, it, it is, uh, it, uh, not, it uh, originally it equals to one minus Q. And for the newly invented I, we also use that. Some careful reader uh, audience may say that actually our uh, probability mass would be larger than one because this 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 part uh, is is uh, is um, it's larger than one by this part. Okay. But uh, actually, we have done, done some experiments after before the camera ready, and we find uh, we we uh, divide this value to zero to two, and the pro the performance is slightly uh, uh, degraded. So we we keep it that way. It's not uh, right, not uh, not absolutely right, but uh, okay. Okay, I think the very, the most difficult part is finished. This is one. This part is actually very difficult to understand. Okay, so we conduct some experiments on mostly on English. We didn't. This is people we don't uh, perform experiments uh, on Chinese data side. These two are very popularly used. And uh, first, we compare different schemata on corner zero, five, and brown is out of domain uh, test site. Okay, this is in domain test site. And, uh, okay, why is, uh, okay, here. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know why, but uh, I need to, okay, I need to put this one. Okay, I give a talk from, one hour. Why? To... Okay, I think I think we can see this way. Okay. Okay. First, let us uh, let us compile B and the BRI, which is done in our submission to AR. Okay. We can see that E. Distinguishing the ending word is very useful. Okay, actually there's two step between the two the, the the two scheme, but we can clearly get this this this, this conclusion. And uh, this one is okay. Okay, let me. And this one compares PE and BIS. The BIS is the third scheme we tried. And we can see that clearly S label is also very useful. It can further improve. This, this thing encourage us a lot. We find actually we, our model can be further improved and we, our, the performance of our model can surpass other previous work. And uh, similarly, I is harmful. At this point, our mind is, was not clear, actually. But uh, fortunately, a few days before the coding, coding deadline, I don't remember, maybe simultaneously, <laughs> me and uh, Shilin, we brought this issue. And we, after we closely observe, look at the results, we see that I is harmful. 
Okay. So with this, with this conclusion, naturally we we must try removing because S is useful. I is not useful. Then we must try the this one BES. That's what we've done. And our problems, you can see, you can see the the model obtains much higher performance by this simple change. Okay. We also uh, give more uh, uh, more comparison, uh, do some more analysis, and we uh, because uh, you can see the arguments, the span can uh, either be single word or containing two words or, or three to six words, and we divide it to four categories. We can see that uh, uh, very clearly BEIs by distinguishing single word arguments from multi word arguments with this label is much better than B. B here, B is here, B as the best one is here, so you can. It's very large. The improvement much uh, most uh, come from this part. You can for other parts, they are, they are, the two are nearly the same. So, so the results are very, very clear and very, very persuading, convincing. Okay. And the B and the BS is much better than uh, it's better than BIES and BRI. With this one, we, it's very clear. If we done this before, it, it would be very clear that we should try BES. Okay. So sometimes we should draw pictures and, and do a lot of analysis during we progress our make progress our idea. Okay, this is uh I don't know why uh, maybe it's okay. Uh, we, let's, this is uh, Zhang Yu's work. I, uh, I'm not uh, uh, an author of this work, this paper. Uh, the, 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 it's also uh, appeared in Colin 2022. And you can see uh, our results is better than all previous results under the fire comparison. Okay. And, uh, and our results also comparable, a little bit, a little inferior to John's. Uh, work okay, and uh, we we said in our paper we 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 said that our model may be further improved with with uh, with more uh, fine grained parameter tuning or, or such because we didn't do much tuning okay, and uh, okay so also an interesting thing is that let's look at the PR values between the two 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 works. You can see that uh, John's work, you can obtain much higher recall than ours, and uh, ours get much higher precision than, than John's. Okay, what does this mean? It means in our model, we, we predict less arguments, but, uh, but it's more, but uh, in a more accurate way. And in their model, we predict a lot of more, more uh, arguments than ours, uh, with, but the precision is lower. Okay. So maybe there are some way to combine these two words, okay. if, if someone is interested. Okay, uh, we finally, our main motivation is to improve uh, speed. And we actually, we did do this. And uh, here's the result. It's very promising, and uh, the gap between dependence passing and the SR is uh, indeed uh, uh, very close. No. So this is our conclusion, and we propose a third approach. We don't know whether it would be mainstream or not. So far, <laughs> a third approach for SMAP is SL uh, by treating it, uh, converting it into a word-based graph passing, very efficient, higher accuracy than previous results. And we design and compile different graph repetition schema. And it's very meaningful and clear insights. 
Finally, we propose a simple and elegant way based on constraint beta B to handle conflicts in the output graph, which is, uh, I think, with a minor uh, uh, contribution. Okay, I thank you all, all the audience. <laughs> and for, thank you for tolerating my broken English. Thank you. Any questions? As Okay, uh, Zhenghua, thank you for your wonderful talk. So maybe I can start with a question if uh, um, if that's okay with everyone. So um, you, you mentioned that I uh, is important, right? Uh, at some point you said if you want to do the constraint uh, with B decoding, you need I, uh, but later you found it's, it's helpful to drop the I. So uh, I'm just wondering how do you, oh, how do you handle it? I see. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your question, Professor. Uh, the yes, the, I think I, I I think this part is uh, misleading because uh, the labels are the same. You can see that uh, I is useful means uh, the schema. The I label is the schema. Okay, and. Uh, in this part, okay, it's uh, it's it concerns with the schema, and uh, the I in the in the constrained vector B decoding is not connected with the schema. It's uh, you can uh, you can understand it's a uh, it's a label invented in our post processing procedure to make the constrained vector B. Uh, work so it's a trick you can, you can see it's a very small, it's a necessary trick i don't i i don't think uh, i don't know if you understand so these I, two are different uh, right so are you saying um if you let's say you drop i you you really have o and uh, when it comes to decoding you replace those, those o with i or something like that uh, excuse me uh, can you can so you... um can I say you really don't have I? If you drop I, then uh, when it comes to decoding stage, you um, in order to use this constraint uh, with Turbi decoding, you have to replace those O nodes, th those no O's that appear in between E and S, uh, sorry, E and uh, B, B and E with I to, to, uh, to do the proper decoding. Mm -hmm. Is my understanding yeah. correct? Uh, yeah. Okay, let, let me give you a big picture, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you can see, uh, uh, in this, uh, this one is a result of our model under the BEI schema, okay? BEIS, you don't have an I label, okay? You don't have, you, you don't see this, this, this the under part, you, you don't pay attention to it. You, you just look at here. Uh, in, this is uh, the result of the model under the BEI schema. And you can see there's some conflict, okay. And actually, only a small fraction of sentences will have this problem, which is label conflict. I don't remember the percent, uh, but the percent uh, percentage proportion. But uh, let's say that if in our test data, uh, if we have one thousand sentences. And maybe only in 10 sentences, they will have the label conflict uh, problem. So in, in this part, we will, we will do our post-processing procedure to these this, uh, sentences to make the results uh, legal. Okay. And, 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 and this, and the, the post-processing procedure is uh, totally uh, indifferent or, or how to say, is not related with uh, the schema. I see what I mean, yeah. Okay, got it, thank you. And I, the details, I don't think you, you need to know to, uh, the details of the, it's actually a very tricky and a very small uh, 
uh, modification to the standard vitamin B. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Anyone, if you want questions? I think, yep. Mm, oh, if, if no one have a question, I think we, we can finish here. Yeah, Professor Lu. Maybe because I'm, I, I give a very, very, very clear talk. Yeah, exactly. I think this is a very... Because the talk is too very long. <laughs> yeah, uh, I yeah. explain. And we many... get the details. Yeah, uh, actually after... Uh, Professor Lu raised the question. I'm also very curious. Uh, do you not have any intuition why it happens? The eye helps in the decoding uh, as a constraint in the decoding, but yeah. okay. as a scammer, it hurt the performance. <clears throat> okay, okay. Uh, still the same question. Uh, eye is not helpful in the bit, bit, uh, constraint bit bit decoding. It's necessary. You must have I. You must invent I, because if, if we don't have I, we won't. We cannot build a constrained matrix. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, it's it's difficult to understand. But if you uh, after the talk, if you try to uh, try to uh, try to use your pen to to write to draw it, you will see. Uh, the little bit uh, constraint little bit decoding need must have I. Uh, okay. As about this question, I have discussed with uh, Shilin for for a few times. Okay. So it's and and uh, the I is useful. It means in the schema, in the in the schema, it's useful. These are two different things. Okay. Uh, maybe let me uh, also give you an example. Okay, maybe it can make the question clear. Okay, let me see. Can you see my uh, the my screen? Yes. Okay. Let, let me see. Okay. Let, let let's see this one. Okay. You can see, uh, under the PIES schema. Okay. Under the PIES schema the situation would be much simpler, simpler, because it has an eye. We don't need to invent an eye to, to, to add, 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 add redistribute the probability mass. We don't need that because it, uh, in the label set, it already has this one. And, uh, and uh, you can see for this, for P, the PIES schema, then this part, we don't need to Redistribute. Uh, we don't need to. What's in? Let me see. This part for the PIES schema. This part, I is not. Uh, we don't need to, and we we, we can't invent I in this part. We just remove this part, and uh, it would be okay, because in the label side already. It already has an I label. I think the it's difficult to understand. Maybe it's because I, I, I use the BES schema as an example. I can improve this part. Okay. Uh, uh okay. we can have a, a little discussion of okay. yeah, I need some time. <clears throat> uh, Anyone have any questions more? <clears throat> Shilin, uh, am I wrong in some any places in my talk? You are, you are correct. Okay, all the details I'm correct. Because, because I don't write the code, you write the code. Yeah, yeah, you are correct. So yeah, the, the video, you can give me the video, the video, right? Yeah, yeah. I can also distribute the video. Yeah, sure. So I have the copyright. Everyone has the copyright. <laughs>
Okay, sure. Yeah. I, I, you know why? What you do you understand why I merge the three talks into one? The reason is that I don't like to uh, give the talk of the, on the same paper for multiple times. I like to do it just once. <laughs> yeah, we can understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, if so, I think the talk can stop here, but uh, we can have some uh, interior discussion, right? Uh, to discuss about each other's research or, or any uh, interested topics, uh, given the, the opportunity we invited Professor Lee here. <clears throat> I will stop the recording here. Okay, so 